after I shot Zachary, I put the gun down on the piano bench and I went into the kitchen and I made up a pitcher of lemonade. I was dying of thirst. My mouth was as dry as a bone. I made it just the way I like it. Lots of sugar and lots of lemon. About 10 lemons in all. Then I added two trays of ice and I stir it up with my wooden stirring spoon. Then I drank three glasses, one after the other. They were large glasses about this tall. Then my stomach kind of swole all up. I guess what caused it was all that sour lemon. Then what I did was I wiped my mouth with the back of my hand, just like that. I did this to clear off all the little bits of water that had settled there. Then I called out to Zachary. I said, Zachary, I made some lemonade. Would you use a glass? He did not answer. So I poured him a glass anyway and I took it out to him. And there he was, lying on the rug. He was looking up at me, trying to speak words. So I said, what? A lemonade? Oh, you don't want any. Would you like a Coke instead? <laughs> Then I got the idea. He was trying to tell me to call on the phone for medical help. So I got on the phone and I called the hospital. I gave my name and my address and I told them my husband was shot and that he was lying on the rug and there was plenty of blood. I guess that's gonna look kind of bad. <laughs> Me fixing up the lemonade before I called the hospital. I tell you, I, I think the reason I made up the lemonade, I mean, besides the fact that my mouth was dry as a bone was because I was afraid. I was afraid to call the authorities. I was afraid they would see that I had tried to shoot Zachary, that I in fact did shot him. And they would accuse me of possible murder and send me away to jail. That's what did happen. That's what is happening because here I am, just about ready to be sent off to parchment prison form. Yes, here I am on the brick of outer doom. Why I feel so all around. Why I feel so all alone.